Good afternoon, and thank you for coming for today's uh, signing ceremony. I want to thank Representative Berkeley, uh, Majority Leader, Leader uh, Sue Vinton, uh, Senator Bogner, Representative Zolnikoff for joining us today for the signing of HB 102. Our Second Amendment protected right to keep and bear arms is part of Montana and our nation's rich history, and we have a responsibility to protect it. Unfortunately, we've seen an anti-gun agenda taking hold in Washington with the new administration. Within the last week, President Biden has called on Congress to pass anti-gun laws that undermine the rights of law-abiding citizens, including mandating universal background checks and banning semi-automatic weapons. Let's be clear. The gun control policies coming out of the new administration, House Speaker Nance Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer target law-abiding gun owners and fail to keep guns out of criminals' hands. Criminals don't care about background checks. Criminals don't care about gun bans. Criminals don't care about limits on magazine capacity. Criminals don't care about safe zones or gun-free zones. Gun control measures don't prevent criminals from perpetuating violence or crime. Gun control measures step on the rights of law-abiding citizens. And our Second Amendment is very clear. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Every law-abiding Montanan should be able to defend themselves and their loved ones. That's why today I'm signing HB 102 into law. This new constitutional carry law will simplify a confusing patchwork of concealed carry laws into a single standard throughout our state. This new law will allow law-abiding Montana gun owners to carry a concealed firearm for self-defense throughout our state without written authorization from the government. And we must allow Montanans to defend themselves. Just a few days after Christmas in 2019, a service was underway at the West Freeway Church of Christ just outside Fort Worth, Texas. Congregants noticed something wasn't right with one of the attendees who was wearing a fake beard. One congregant who was there with her husband and seven-year-old daughter said, there was just something not right about him. After communion, the man pulled a sawed-off shotgun from under his clothing and opened fire on the other people in that church. The criminal killed two churchgoers. Six seconds after the killer opened fire, Jack Wilson, a 71-year-old volunteer member of the church's security team, drew his pistol and killed the perpetrator before he could kill any more people. Jack Wilson is a hero. A month earlier in Miami, Donovan Stewart was in his car with his girlfriend and 11-year-old son. A criminal, armed with an AK-47, broke into his van, pointed the weapon at him, and tried to rob him. Fearing for his safety and that of his loved ones, Donovan, a 60-year-old who had a concealed carry permit, shot the criminal in the chest, killing him at the scene. Afterwards, Donovan said, quote, my family is innocent, and just don't point an AK-47 in my face. I will not allow that to happen. This guy also hijacked a woman in a van and was found with her car key. He robbed another woman at gunpoint. Donovan Stewart is a hero. I've been clear on this issue. Protecting and defending our constitutional rights, including our gun rights, are part of our Montana comeback plan and HB 102 does just that. Rep Representative Bergley, thank you for your leadership on this, and would you like to make a couple comments? Montanans, make sure we're on. Montanans have a long history of being independent, self-sufficient, and providing for their own defense. The, the idea of self-defense has been a pillar in our society since even before the founding of our country. It's a right that's given by God and granted in the Constitution. 
It's my pleasure to bring House Bill 102, recognizing that the citizens of Montana have the ability to defend themselves, and I trust them with that responsibility. House Bill 102 does several things. It allows for people to carry concealed firearms with the same amount of training in the same areas, in areas they can already carry open carry. And it erases the invisible line around our colleges and allows adults to include veterans that have served overseas to carry on college campuses. Second Amendment has been a priority for the Republican majority, and I thank Governor Gianforte for signing this bill. Thank you, Representative Berkeley. I also want to thank the Montanans throughout our state who've made their voices clear. From law-abiding gun owners to folks who want this bill signed into law so they feel safer and more secure. Today we join nearly 20 other states who allow gun owners to carry firearms without a government-issued permit. Today we protect the private property rights of homeowners and business owners. Today we make Montana a safer place to live. Today we protect our Second Amendment rights. Today I'm proud to sign HB 102 into law. We'll get you one, Barry. Um, I want to thank you all for coming today. Uh, I regret that we ha I have to rush off to a COVID uh, uh, vaccination briefing. Uh, I was pleased to have a, a press conference with you yesterday, and I hope a number of you can join us tomorrow as we head up to Phillips and Valley County to look at the XL pipeline. So thank you so much.